Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks very much for coming to listen to our little uh, presentation. Um, I'm Andrew Chubb, CEO for Awali Resources. I'm here to talk to you about our uh, Cote d'Ivoire exploration, uh, where we believe that we're well leveraged for multiple gold discoveries in Cote d'Ivoire. Usual disclaimers. Um, the Awali team, where we all come out of Mariana, uh, we were taken over by Sandstorm. Uh, we took the projects that we already had in, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire with Mariana and relisted as Awali at the end of last year. Um, so I'll talk a little, a little bit more about that. We have three main uh, areas, Bonduku, Abinguru and Odiene. Uh, they're all district scale exploration plays covering 2,307 square kilometres. Uh, we've got a well-established uh, Avorian team completing the work uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, which we've been continuing for the last uh, 12 months since listing and a little bit before that is Mariana. Uh, why Cote d'Ivoire? Um, it's got 30, 33% of the West African uh, greenstone belts and uh, less than 10% of the resources. Uh, it's had a recent, in 2015, new mining code, uh, which is bringing more investment into the country. And if you use Burkina Faso as, a, as an example, they had a mining code change in 2010, increased exploration. Um, six or seven new mines have come online since uh, 2010 in Burkina Faso, and we see a similar path for Cote d'Ivoire. Um, coming back to the, hmm, I've lost some, lost some formatting there. Coming back to the, um, our capital structure, um, 45 million shares fully diluted, 35 million shares on issue. Um, Glenn Parsons, our CEO, uh, was the previous CEO for Mariana. Eric Roth uh, was formerly Mariana as well, he's the technical director. Um, we also have a, um, Neil Adshead on the technical advisory. Um, Market cap at the moment, three, three million Canadian at eight, eight and a half cents a share. Um, just to, where we have, as I as mentioned, we have three uh, exploration, three uh, um, district scale exploration plays in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, Bonduku has been the, the primary focus for us. Uh, three, three granted permits for 1,200 square kilometres. Um, Abanguru, two granted permits, and ODNA, uh, one granted permits, but all covering uh, 2,300 uh, square kilometres in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, just drilling down on the, on the Bonduku project. Um, we've been completing systematic exploration over all the project areas. So uh, using Bonduku as an example, we commence with Aramag surveys, radio, Aramag radiometrics, regional bleg sampling, um, overlaying those, defining the fertile structures. We've got 80 kilometres of, 80 strike kilometres of fertile structures in, in the Bonduku project. Um, we've further ranked and targeted particular prospects, um, which we've been gradually working up. Um, every time we do more geochemistry and more work, we uncover more gold anomalism. And so we're building uh, a, uh, a fantastic story here at uh, Bonduku. And uh, we've completed 23,000 metres of auger drilling, um, just under 5,000 metres of RC drilling, and uh, 1,200 metres, uh, 2,000 metres of diamond drilling as well. Um, some recent results that came out last week. Um, we've just drilled off uh, the northern. The, this structure here um, is, a, is a prominent structure in the project. It's a deep tapping structure, bringing gold uh, up into our system. Uh, it's been the focus of a lot of our exploration. And just recently, this is an example of uh, first pass geochemistry, getting um, broad scale anomalies ready for infill, targeting and uh, drilling in 2019. Um, the RC drilling, we've completed over the, over the same shear zone. Um, important takeaway is uh, we have a broad alteration system, which you can follow for over 10 kilometres. Um, we've done some uh, drilling over those targets, got some nice uh, mineralised intercepts, which at 20 metres at a gram, 18 metres at a gram, and over, over an extremely broad zone. The alteration system is a quartz carbonate fuchsite alteration system, and it, it's a big fluid flow system that, like I said, you can trace for over 10 kilometres. 
Um, so ongoing at Bonduku, uh, we have infill, infill and targeting to do over those recent anomalies. Um, we're currently uh, trenching uh, to tie in the structural geometry with the diamond drilling that we've completed in the southern parts of the permit, um, mapping and, uh, and soil sampling on other pros prospects as well. Um, moving on to the, some of the other projects, uh, ODNA, um, we've done again, same systematic exploration, uh, stream sediment, bleg sampling, um, overlaid with uh, magnetics, um, develop our targets, go in, we've done soil sampling there. Again, um, some fantastic targets that we've uh, built up there with uh, greater than 15, 50 ppb gold in soil values at the uh, Vacaba and Empire prospects. Um, Empire has a 200 ppb core that's over 500 metres long. Um, Vacaba, there were multiple anomalies there at greater than 50 ppb with 300 ppb cores. So we're currently, again, ex infill and extension soil sampling, trenching, building drill targets for, for 2019. Avanguru, again, similar story, S systematic exploration. We did have uh, some former soil sampling from uh, Golden Star Resources that held the Amalekia permit before. Um, we've confirmed uh, those anomalies and we're currently pitting, trenching, working on those targets, understanding what that anomalism is to be building, uh, again, drill targets for, for, the, for the coming season. So just to, in summary, um, we have three district exploration plays in Cote d'Ivoire, which are well leveraged for multiple gold discoveries. Uh, we're building the geological models for these. They uh, are highly prospective. We're very excited about uh, at 2019 and, and drilling some of the targets that we've been developing. Um, we have uh, a well-established board and management team that has crystallised value for shareholders in the past uh, with, uh, with other companies and we plan to do the same with uh, Awali Resources. I've, um, I've gone over a lot of the technical things quite quickly here. Um, be really happy to, to talk to anyone about those uh, in, in the booth or around, around the place. And uh, just like to thank you very much for, for coming.